Hi there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so we were touching on the subject of why we're not happy, okay? And we can spend a whole lifetime and get to the end of it. And we do, it just eludes us. We may have moments where we're joyful, but it's so fleeting. And I know you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's not a, I'm happy. I'm happy. To be happy, to me, to be happy is to be at peace, that I don't need anything, that I am happy as I am. And that's it. It's, it's that simple. Happiness is that simple. But what gets in the way of that happiness, okay, is that we grow up, and as we're growing up, you have all these adults around you whether it be your parents, whether it be your teachers, you know, the stuff on TV, the stuff in magazines, all of that, that tells you, you need to have this to be happy. You need to have that to be happy. And they're always pointing at things that are outside of you, things that you need to obtain, things that you need to have, things that you need to, things, I think is the most important word in all of that, these things. Everything points to outside. If you have this, you'll be happy. If you have that, you'll be happy. If you have the degree, the house, the car, the, 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 it goes on and on and on. Because once you have that, and for those of you who do have the beautiful house, yes, it can make you happy to walk into this beautiful house. But at the end of the day, is that enough? Is that it? I've got my house now, that's it. I don't need anything else totally satisfied you get that brand new car that you've been yearning for for so long you get the car you're in the car you're driving it for weeks and months a couple of years go by are you still ecstatic when you get in your car because what happens okay now you've had that car for five years but there's a better car there's a newer car it's got more gadgets it's fancier it goes faster like the color better and this is the nature of all these things to keep you consuming 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 <laughs> outside looking for it outside outside and it's taken me a lifetime to realize that what I'm looking for that peace and that happiness and to be totally satisfied This is a perfect moment. I don't need anything else. It has absolutely nothing to do with any of that. It's got nothing to do with the house, with the car, with how much money I've got in the bank, how many rings I've got, what kind of phone I have. None of that is who I really am. None of it. And one of the videos I wanted to put up and I want to keep repeating it over and over because originally I started these videos for my daughter and one day she'll watch them and I want her to understand as much as I want you all of you to understand please understand that you are enough just as you are you are enough you do not need someone else to complete you you don't you don't need a partner to complete you. That happiness that you're looking for, that, that peace that you yearn for, it's not in someone else. Because I've witnessed that too. You know, to be so in love with someone. And, you know, this is, oh, I'm so in love and it's going to be forever. And what happens when that falls apart? Are you not you anymore? Does that part of you go with that person? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You never stop being you. No matter, you know, how many friends you've got or you haven't got. Your friends will be here today. And even if you have them for a lifetime, eventually they won't be here. They'll pass away someday. But you'll still be here. You, you. We'll still be here 
your partner, as wonderful as your partner may be, that partner does not complete you because you are whole as you are. There is nothing missing from you. You are not broken. I hear so many people say that to me. They're broken. They're broken. You cannot be broken. It's impossible. Because one day you will wake up, as I have, and you will realize that everything that you have inside of you, who you really, really are, that can't be touched. And it can't be broken. And that's that beautiful soul that lives inside this body. But we lose touch with that. We're never taught to get in touch with that. Who you are, the human being inside of you, the one that has all the kindness and the love. That beautiful, beautiful soul cannot, it's unbreakable. It's not made to be broken. It's not a bone on your body. It can't be broken. You know, sometimes we think up here because of all the things we've been through, we're broken. I'll go into it more in the next video because this idea of being broken is something that's quite close to my heart. It's funny, I've never myself felt that I'm broken, but I've heard so many people use this term towards themselves and I really, really want to get into it. Anyway, I've got off topic, but the, the main thing was, you know, for all of you out there, you are complete, just as you are. What matters? For you as a human being, what really, really matters is already inside of you. It's inside of all of us. We all carry it. We carry all the love that we need. We carry all the kindness that we need. We carry all the compassion, all the passion, all the everything. Everything that you need that makes you you is already inside of you. And it's something that can't be touched. It's yours forever and ever and ever. Right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.